Yo, what's good, gang? It's the Dope Guy, and I am back with another video, Big Dog. I hope you guys are all doing well out there because I'm doing all right. And here I am spinning the block with content for y'all, man, on my soul. Yo, today's video is South Africa street food in Johannesburg. Bry, I think that's how you pronounce it. Bread and beef head. Is it beef head? Okay, yeah, let's, let's go with that. But yeah, man, shout out to the subscriber who suggested check out this video. I thought I read it wrong. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I thought like, hey, yo, that's crazy. But I, I thought I read it wrong, but that's the title, actually. But yeah, man, shout out to all my people in South Africa. Much love, especially y'all, man. Shout out to the subscriber, uh, once again, who suggested to check out this video. Just to learn about the street food they have out there in South Africa, especially, specifically in Johannesburg. I know it's going to be good, you know what I'm saying? Trying out different meals, you know what I'm saying? From the, you know, shout out to the African culture. Much love, respect. I know it's going to be dope. And like I said, South Africa is on my bucket list to visit, so I cannot wait to hop into this video and see the food. But before we do that, subscribe to the dope guy. That way they get notifications every time I upload and find right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom the screen. So with that being said, I'm not gonna hold y'all much longer because y'all already know this go big dog. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Welcome to the bride. In this video, you'll witness the dynamic. Why do they call it chicken dust? I don't know, what do you think? Dairy. But I've had in the past, there's nothing like this. Delicious street food of Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm gonna Ooh. pair that with pedo. Photo? Pedo? It's probably not that. Photo. But first, let's back up. Let's go. Johannesburg. That's a fire painting of the flag. Our first stop in this cross-country South African food tour brings us to the city of Johannesburg. Salud. A city Salud. of 5 million and the second largest in all of Africa. Oh, well, damn. South Africa. <laughs> It's a big ass beer. Street food has influenced countries all over Southern Ooh. Africa, and I'm gonna try them all. Here you have a bunch of different stuff you can eat it with. Five different options, right? Oh, that's five, I think. I think five. Are you asking her? Imagine. I do believe it's your store. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You'll know your. That's is, is this your spot, girl. This your spot, right? And smiling. If you drink this, you become a babe. Do you bear here? Do you want one? To some of the most epic, succulent, meat dripping barbecues mm. you'll find anywhere. Would you finish this little Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm positive. It all starts here. This neighborhood we're in right now, it's got a lot of character. Sure. Tell me about a, that's a big ass, what's that? That's a big ass bottle of beer, bruh. Man, I already know this video gonna make me hungry as hell, and I just ate. But, yo. That food looks so fire, dog. Days in Johannesburg. Because oh I'm wondering if what I'm witnessing on the streets is something that happens every day. Obviously, Saturday, people went out partying and they're trying to find Babala's cure. Do you know what Babala's is? No. It's a hangover. It feels like mm. people never stop partying from Saturday. We party from Thursday. And then when does it end? Never. Okay. Never. It's crazy. Like a perfect drinking food. This is called the smiley. It all starts with a cow head sliced down before cooking. Wow. Now, I had this before when I was in Namibia. I oh, think. shit. Yo, that, I, I look at the horns on the cow head. Just, oh, man. That just made my skin crawl. But I know it's going to be fire. I know that shit going to be good as hell. It was a I know it is. But when I ate it, then it was Yo, that's crazy. Cow. But here it's just, you know, it's cut up. It's on a plate. The only difference here is how. So you can't put a cow on how, wait, how is it going to fit? The head is too big. That's so a good point. There's different right. types to make it, but the original way to make it is boil it. So if you want to add spices, you don't actually. You add spices when it's already here. Chili, be seasoned. Best mm. thing in South Africa. And peri peri sauce. This smiley usually pairs with putu. The recipe is cheap and simple. Start with corn flour and add just a little bit of water. I've seen something similar like in rice. parts of Africa. In Tanzania, they might call it ugali, except for this looks like a more like dry version of it. This one we cook with a fork. Cook it up until it becomes fluffy. Okay. That shit like it's going to be good as hell. This isn't complete without a potent, savory cup of hot broth. Mm. You're going to pour over your meat just so it goes down smoothly because you're gonna you're gonna do. Let's do what we have to do. Pair that with the photo, and then you're gonna pick the one. That oh, I have heard of this. Oh, you already went for it. I've had heard okay. of that. No, no, don't spit it out. <laughs> Definitely don't spit it out. Joining me today, the funny chef Levo. Try it out. And oh. and oh. she's a chef, actress, and a comedian. Oh, wow. Well, Thank you. Born and raised in Pretoria, nearby Johannesburg. What? I she gives me comedian vibes. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. She like she has a dope ass sense of humor, bro. I like about eating face. Dope sense of humor. It's a weird way to start. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about eating animal heads is that every bite's a little bit different. I understand why you kind of have to pour the stuff back on. It's like all the flavor has boiled out of it, so you right. pour the flavor back on. You pair it with this. This is really dry. I'm not used to it, but, but if you eat it with some really soupy meat, it kind of balances out. My question is, is Johannesburg a street food city? Definitely. I come from Pretoria. We come to Johannesburg for street food. We have 11 different languages. We have different cultures. Everybody's just trying to mix their cultures together to see what works, and that's what you get in street food here. Do you know what I think we should mix together? What? Some hot sauce. 
Facts. Yeah. So called transition kit. There's your, your beer juice Ooh. over here. Oh, what kind of a seasoning is that? Yep. Do you know what's in there? It's chili beef seasoning. Chili it's beef. It's like 100% beef. Now it's like 110% beef. The beef is so much more beefy. It's potent. Very nice. How about that hot sauce? Let's go. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Very spicy, but extra sour. Lots of vinegar in there. That's very addictive. Yeah. It's juicy. It's very. That look, that, sh that dude, sh that shit does look like it's going, it's good, bro. Definitely want to go over there and try that. It looks good. Be very and salty. I can see why people in there a little bit wasted. Mm -hmm. Want to come here? Cheers, guys. Boom. Salud. <laughs> Salud. That's a big, like that was a big ass beer, beer bro. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a face. Okay, hold on. Give them a little bit, not a lot. Can I just hand people meat? Mm -hmm. All right. Our next stop brings us to the bustling GHB market, a mix of commercial buildings and outdoor vendors. Okay. Peppered throughout the crowd, you'll find purveyors of street food magic, frying bread, roasting meats, and handing out hearty portions of protein. First on my list, a Joe Bird classic. Chicken Ooh. dust. Why do they call it chicken dust? Because I think... I don't know, what do you think? I need the local expert. Turns out chicken dust ain't about the chicken, it's about the dust, or the seasoning, seasoning. they put on it. A blend of dry parsley, garlic powder, oregano, thyme, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. Dust okay. it on the chicken and grill it over charcoal. Halfway through, slather on barbecue and mm. finish grilling. When it comes to street food, how much do people here love meat? Street food, everybody wants meat. Why meat and not just more carbs or bread or, oh, you know, something vegetarian? <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a punch of flavor on the outside when you first bite it. The dusty? Mm -hmm. It's super savory. The meat is fatty, it's juicy, it's dark meat. And it's sweet. Yeah, a bit that chicken look good as hell, bro. And I know this seasoning just makes it ten. Well, they call it dust. Just make it ten Speaking times better, bro. I've been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've seen it in other countries around South Africa. I'm talking about the bry. Bry is an Afrikaans word that literally means barbecue, especially an open outdoor grill meant for brying pounds and pounds of animal protein. You can eat it standing up or sitting down, day or night, alone or with a group. Okay. Later today, we'll be meeting some real bry masters. But first, okay. a dish only reserved for Sundays. We call it seven colors. Black South Africans mostly, we know seven colors. Every Sunday, we go to church, we come back and we cook this and it's set okay. the whole week. Traditional seven colors includes rice as a base, and for the protein, chicken or beef. Then an array of vibrantly colored sides. All right. Like this. It's actually several colors. Mm. It looks decent. Okay. No seven colors. Right. So is this seven colors though? Well, how many colors do you count? Well, how about you name the colors? Green. Yep. Why do I sound like I'm in preschool? Green, red, brown, <laughs> light brown, <Okay. laughs> white. How many colors? That was fine. So, but you should add the little. Okay. Yeah. There's so, sub colors. Seven, seven. Let's round it up. It starts with sliced red, green, and yellow bell pepper, okay. white onion, and red onion, all stir fried in olive oil. Add shredded carrot, some seasoning, oh, that was and beef stock. Okay. After a few minutes, add in boiled spinach and finally cream of mushroom. And we go okay. Mm -hmm. That's just protein. Slap. In lieu of the usual chicken or beef, mm. we're going with ox liver. It's stir fried in a wok along with peppers okay. and onions. Hit it with a little bit of secret seasoning and a portion of the not so secret Al's chili sauce. Mm. The liver and veggies pair with pop, the most commonly eaten softer preparation of corn flour and water. On the side, salsa and cabbage. Not a big cabbage eater. And then you're gonna go wherever you wish. So I'm picking up the spinach. I'm guessing. Oh, so they take the and just the, they take the base and okay the dip. This well have it. Mm. You know you get what I'm saying. I like the carrots. It gives it a little bit different texture. Yes. What else? Let's go for the cabbage. Now I'm curious if these are all gonna taste similar. Like have some kind of a uniting thread. They will. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes a bit fermented. It tastes almost like sauerkraut. Let's go for the salsa now. Okay. The heat is there. So be ready. I'm looking forward to heat. So I haven't had anything too spicy yet. Ooh. Ooh. No that's a, at all. No. Damn, that's spicy <laughs> like that, bro. A seat in hell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that spicy? Do you not think it's spicy? I think it's like a fort. I mean, it's pleasant. I don't need for it to be painful. So, I'm not trying to give childbirth with no painkillers over here. <laughs> wow. For the protein, we could have gone with fried chicken. Instead, right here, we have the ox liver. Ox liver. How is that? It's a little bit jamey. Like, it's got some personality. Mm. It's a bit intense, but pretty soft. I like they didn't overcook it. Mmm. Oh, it's really nice. I love how the different colors represent the different flavors. Yeah. The protein, yeah. Look, anybody can get fried chicken. We already know fried chicken. Chicken is good. Okay. But it's Facts. It's a big gamey, but when you mix it with all the other flavors in there, smooth. Just 
just around the corner. Take a few steps down the street and you'll stumble upon a food stall that has customers lining up as early as 4 a.m. What's the most Damn. food you might serve in a day? More than 100. Is this something you've been doing your whole life? Seven to eight days ago. I thought it could have just me and my mom. Mm -hmm. And then as time goes on, we're like, okay, now this is getting serious. We need more people to come and help us. These are called pet cakes? Pet cakes, yes, but you can say Maguena. Aguinha, or fat cakes, are treasured treats enjoyed across the African continent. Okay. It requires just one ingredient. All purpose flour turned into a dough, shaped, and fried in hot oil. I had mm. pancakes when I was in Namibia. When I had this, I don't think I had anything with it. But here you have a bunch of different stuff you can eat it with. What are some of the more popular Yeah, what do you eat it with? Like liver, acha, snowfish, special garlic. So what's on our plate right here? Acha and white liver. What is acha? Dried mango mixed up with spices. But I've heard that hmm. acha can be kind of off-putting. Did you say pudding? <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, sorry. I'm leaving the show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of rip it in half, right? Yeah, and then you put liver. Oh, so it really is like a stuffing. It's, it's a spread of one. Just put one. Was, be, no, the thing is, He's about to get greedy as hell. Just put one. One and a half? Just put one. Alright, cool. okay, one and a half. <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's go. Huh. You know, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's got a bold flavor. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the acha taste because the liver is so strong. The acha makes a difference. If you eat this alone, it's going to be a bit dry. And with mm -hmm. the oil, the spices, it infuses every flavor that you put in it. It's absolutely stunning. It's a bit okay. sour. And I can taste the other spices in there, too. It's a nice mix with the liver. The liver is very bold. You remember how old you were when you first had fat cakes? No, I don't. It's a South African thing. Everybody has this in the morning. You don't feel like making a sandwich. And it's easier. You say because you can make it in bulk. You know you're going to eat for the Yo, she said they line up as early as 4 a.m. for the fat cakes, bro. 4 a.m. Gotta be a hit then. Gotta be a hit. Oh, you make it at home? Yeah, but I juice things up. You juice it up? I do. <laughs> I'm curious how it works here. Now, I think some people who aren't familiar with street food, they might assume that someone just takes a table, they fold it out, they pluck it down, and then that's their spot. But this is all real estate. You pay rent there, right? Yes, we do. How important is it to find the right space? Very, very important. You cannot just go and be like, I want to stay here without checking. And if you can see this restaurant next, down there is Park Station. This road, everyone who goes to train, they use the street. I gotta say, what I've had in the past is nothing like this. It's a completely different experience. I was actually waiting for that. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Welcome to the Brian. Rainer she cooking in the bonnet, so I know it's gonna be it's fine. A spectacle. It's a giant parking lot. On the periphery, there are tons of grills and barbecues like this. People, they come here, they sit down, they order a ton of meat, and they drink a bunch of food. It's my kind of place. To my side. I'm with that. So neat. Is that right? Thank you. I'm with that. In this historically complicated country, Bry is one thing that brings everyone together. People from every background partake. This primal act of roasting meat over a mm. fire is something everyone connects to. And it's an essential part of South African culture. We're going to get everything possible. Meat and liquor? Food and liquor? Man, I'm sold, bro. I'm sold. Well, here, the beef, the, onions, the sausages, and maybe a 40 on the side. I love that. Oh, 40. South Africa, at least in Johannesburg. They Those big ass bottles of Heineken, dog. Don't ask yourself. Well, Sonny, why are we looking at this? I don't drink Heineken. On I don't, Monday I don't like beer like that. I don't know. Why not? Before hitting the grill, the meat is seasoned with barbecue spice and peri peri chili sauce. Is meat okay. one of the more popular proteins in this country? Yes, yeah, religion wise. They don't eat pork, so we all strive for beef. When it comes okay. to bride, gas grills are forbidden. A proper bride Damn. should utilize local hardwood, adding distinct flavor to the meat. Okay. Bride, what are you looking at? This looks incredible. I think we got it all. There's kidney, there's heart, there's liver, there's beef chunks, and then the sausage too. Would mm. you finish this whole platter? Yeah, in a month. I'm gonna try the kidney. Please, break me off a piece. Mm. Oh, the kidneys are great. Slightly gamey, but I like it. I'm gonna throw back some raw onion. Just eat the raw onion straight like that? If you want it rare, well done. No, that's not how it happens. That's my experience. For bruh, y'all let me know. Y'all hungry as hell from watching this video, bruh? I know I am. I want some food and liquor. No cap, bro. All that shit would be looking good. It, it's looking good as hell. This is the street food of South Africa. Shout out to all my people out there. South Africa, specifically Johannesburg. Shout out to all y'all out there, man. The food looks fire, bro. Looks good as hell. Pretty much every time I go to Africa. Not a lot of medium rare. You know why that is? When they see blood, it reminds them of a fun thing. Really? No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's so intense. Right. Let's try the liver. Oh my God, this is awesome. Is that? What is that? Oh, that's, that's gotta be hard. You go for that. I'll go for this. <laughs> Mango. I like that they take mm. the heart and they kind of cut it thin so it all comes That's a heart? That is a beautiful piece of meat right there. That's Let's crazy. 
Right. The key is to get it hot from the grill. So soft and juicy and thin enough to keep it kind of tender. And then the sausage too. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I know that shit fire too. Horribles is an Afrikaans word for a sausage that originated here in South Africa, and they take it pretty seriously. Government regulations hold that horribles must contain at least 90% meat, usually beef, and it can contain no more than 30% fat. Hmm. Never knew there was rules to that shit. Mix in South African seasonings, and you've got one of this country's most incredible meat experiences. I know that shit good. See, I'm talking about, I, see, I want a bun, I want some mustard or whatnot. I don't know if it's disrespectful to do that out there because I know what we do out here in the States. But, yo, that shit looks good. That's a lot of meat on that plate, bro. That's a lot. I'll get full real quick, bro. On top of drinking, too? Drinking beer or whatever? Oh, I'm gonna be full as hell. Undeniable. Oh, Lord. Facts. Oh, Super meaty, juicy, perfect balance between protein and fat. It's so delicious. And it's too And there's tons of spices inside. Mmm. Oh, oh, I love this because there's nothing better than fire, meat, and then something that gets you a little bit drunk. I mean, this around the world is like a beloved type of experience. You know, mm -hmm. in Korea, essentially you're doing the same thing, but you're going to be cooking at your table. It takes slightly different forms and variations depending on where you go. And here you're like, outside, uh, you're seeing them grill your food and then just bring it straight yeah. to you. This was an incredible experience getting my first taste of South African cuisine with you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, damn. Oh, South Africa. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That looks so damn good. All that meat, all the liquor, the sausage, all that looks good, man. Shout out to all y'all out there, bro. Shout out to the subscriber who suggests I check this out, man. I know there's a few of y'all that mentioned about other street food in South Africa. Y'all want me to check out? I got y'all. I'm spinning a block. But yo, it, all that looks good, man. Like, nothing like food and liquor, bro. Like, two great combinations, bro. And like I said, South Africa, like, y'all be party. Y'all be lit. It's a lituation out there. Definitely want to come visit and tap in with y'all, man. I know it's going to be a vibe, man, because a lot of y'all be like, yo, come on down here. I'm like, yo, my time will come, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that money together, and I'll come down there for sure. It'll be a whole vibe. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Just tapping in with another culture, man. I just know it's going to be a good time. Man. Shout out to all y'all out there. The food looks fantastic. I'm hungry as hell now. Even though I just ate, now I want some, I want some of that food. I ain't even going to hold you, bro. I'm pissed off, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. But, man, shout out to all my peoples out there on God. But yo, I hope you enjoyed the reaction to this video. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Dope Guy Big Dog. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload. From right here on Snapchat and Instagram right across the bottom screen. Any of the videos you may check out, please comment under this video. My other videos, leave likes and comments on all my videos to help grow the channel. Help with the algorithm. For sure! Any more videos you may check out, leave a comment in the comment section below. Now, guys, y'all will spin the block. But yeah, man, it's the Dope Guy, and I am out. Yes, sir.